The if error formula is a good way to clean up data sets that allow you to um, place numbers in place of an error so that you can calculate the data set. And a good example of this is if we are looking up using a VLOOKUP uh, items from a state such as owner or quantity the states that do not populate will show up as an error. So if we type in a VLOOKUP formula we want to know the owner. You'll notice that the states that are in the data set that we have selected populate with a name. And the ones that do not populate is an error. And in certain data sets this doesn't work with the formatting that needs to be in place for proper functioning in your Excel spreadsheet. But also it doesn't have that professional look to it that a lot of people like. So the best way to handle this is to go in front of your formula and put an if error statement. And at the back of your formula, place a comma, and this is going to be the result if an error. Um, the beginning part is going to be the result if there isn't an error, and then after the comma and the formula is going to be the result if there is an error. So if the, if the formula results in an error, we want it to be zero. And you'll notice that the three errors have been changed to zero. Now say we wanted it to be a text value and we wanted it to say test. You will notice when we drag the formula that it doesn't work. The reason this doesn't work is text values need to be placed in quotation marks. This creates a text format in the column for that value. And you'll notice that it now says test. If we want it to be a blank column with nothing in it, put quotation marks and place a space between them. You'll notice that this creates blanks and keeps your spreadsheet very clean. Um, this is useful when using numbers. For example, if we or to look at quantities and we have errors we can't sum these quantities up without getting an error but if we leave that same formula in place we do an if error we place zero as the value for an error you notice that we now get a sum for those values in place of the error that was there before. And this is a key part of the functioning with an Excel spreadsheet. Um, you, you need the values to be number format in order for a lot of formulas to work or to be recognized for different functions within Excel.